Alright guys, I'm going to do a quick video and show you what I'm looking for in this image basics assignment. So, for Cypher, moving through here, um, you're going to need a new blog post, right? Title the same as the assignment, 3-4 image basics, okay? And uh, we talked a little bit about image uses on the web, resizing them. And the first thing you need to do is find an image, okay? So, we're going to open a new tab and we're going to look for a cartoon cat, why not? So I'm searching Google and I want image results. So I'm going to click on image. Find a cat that looks good. Um, Hamlet Garfield, he's always cool. So I'm going to view the image like this. Right click and save image as. All right. Now I don't really want to use the downloads folder. I want to use a pictures folder. There we go. And it's garfield.jpg. Good naming scheme. And I'll hit save. Now that I have my image saved, I can close this, okay? And I need to open it up with GIMP. So I can navigate to my home folder, clicking that over here. And uh, I saved in a picture, so I'm gonna open that with a double click. And I'm gonna right click on Garfield. And I'm gonna open with, and I'm gonna choose the GIMP image editor. Now if this doesn't come up for some reason, you can open up GIMP separately. Click the dash home, search for GIMP, G-I-M-P, and you can open it up that way. Takes a few moments to open. And then when you have the main window selected here, you can go up to the top and your context menu comes up. File, open, navigate to the folder where you saved it, probably pictures, click on it, and then you're going to click open. Okay, cool. Now this image is pretty small, 420 by 200 so we don't really need to rescale it but if your image is much larger than that more than 500 by 500 you should go to image scale image and change these numbers now you, you it's good to keep them linked so it doesn't stretch the image um, but I could change this to like 100 and this is gonna make it real small okay but I don't want that so I'm gonna control Z to undo okay uh, or we can do file Un, uh, I'm sorry, edit and undo scale image, which will also be control Z. All right, now we need to apply, apply some filters. So if we go back up to this menu, go to filters, and we got to apply some. So let's try, hmm, distorts are fun, like blinds. Okay, um, adding more blinds, usually more interesting. Number of segments, something like that. Hmm, something. See in the preview that's kind of. There we go, that's interesting. That looks like blinds. Okay, cool. So now we're gonna save it. So we're gonna go to File and Save As. You don't wanna save it over the original one, you wanna save as a different name, okay? And then after Garfield, before the .jpg, you wanna add a dash and put whatever filter you use. So I use blinds, so I will type B-L-I-N-D-S -I -I and save. And if you get something like this, click Save again. Okay. So now if I go back to that folder, I should have two files, the original and then the blinds. Double click. You can preview it. There you go. Okay, so now you've done the right thing. Now, go back to your image editor and undo this thing you just did. File, or edit, I'm sorry, and then uh, undo blinds. Okay. Now let's pick a different filter. Filters, uh, let's see, uh, artistic. Mm, let's try oilify. Oh, there we go. It looks like an oil painting, right? You can change how much it looks like an oil painting, right? Make it a little less. Kind of cool. There you go. It looks a little like a painting. Cool. Now we're going to save that one. File, save as. Okay. Get rid of the blinds and change it to oilify or whatever you use. Save. Okay, save. So you're gonna do this a couple more times using whatever filters you want. Just make sure that it actually makes a difference. Uh, so let's see, if I do enhance the interlace, oh, I didn't undo the other filter. Let's see, undo, undo. Okay, uh, filters, let's see, enhance the interlace. I don't see much of a difference here. Very, very small difference, right? Okay, 
right? So that's not a good one. Let's pick a different one. Let's see. Apply canvas. Ah, now it looks like it was on a canvas. Kind of cool, right? Very cool. I'm going to save that one. File, save as. Canvas. There you go. Okay, cool. So it's important to keep track of which ones you're using. Okay, and I need one more, so I have three all together. Uh, let's see. Distort mosaic is also a cool one. Um, there we go. Very cool. And file save as. Okay. Mo. Mosaic. Mosaic. There we go. All right. So now I should have four images. Oh, looks like I actually end up with five. Should have at least four images, three different ones. Okay, and the original. Very good. All right. So the next step is we need to take those images that we just created, and we need to put them into an HTML document. So. If you looked at my website, you'll see that we're going to be using the IMG tag here. So the format is going to be IMG space SRC equals and the name of the image within quotes. Okay. The image must be in the same folder or include the full address. We're just going to put it in the same folder for right now. Okay. Okay. So you should have all your images in one folder. So I put them in inside documents and then the folder I called 3 4 underscore image underscore basics. It's good not to use spaces. Okay. Then I created a new HTML document. How can you do this? Well, you can go to the right and you can go to create empty document. Just like that. And then you can title it 3-4 underscore I-M-A-G-E underscore basics dot HTML. It's important to put the dot HTML. Okay. Now I already have an image with this name, a file with this name, so I cannot create it. So I'm going to delete that and undo it. Put it to trash. Okay. So now I'm going to open up the file that I created. You're going to click, right click, open with text editor. Okay. So now I need to add my images in. All right. So I'm going to use IMG tag. Put it, enter, do a couple tabs. IMG SRC equals name of my image. I got my images right here. Okay. G A R F I E L D dot J P G. Okay. End quote. And put the end bracket. Okay. So now I need to check and see if this works. Save. All right. Make sure you save. Then you go back to this this here. Right click. Open with Google Chrome. And you should have your image here right under your text. Awesome. Now we want to put a little space before the next one. So we go back to here. And next line we can use our break. Save. Go back. Refresh. Oh, didn't give me much space. All right. So um, you have a couple choices. You could do a couple of these. BR. BR like that. Okay, and or you can add an HR, which gives you that horizontal line. That's a nice separator. Okay, but I think we want that before these breaks. So I'm going to cut and paste that into there, and then some breaks. So it's probably good to have a little of both. Okay. All right, now we can set up our other ones just like that. We'll copy and paste to the other paragraphs. Nice. Okay. Now I can also copy and paste my image to the next one. Okay. But not using the same image twice I want a different image Garfield dash blinds JPG all right save that okay now we'll go to the next one paste change it Garfield canvas okay 
And then the last one, Garfield dash mosaic. Save. Now, if I spell everything and did everything right, I go back and refresh. I should have original, blinds filter, canvas filter, and mosaic filter. Very nice and clean, right? Horizontal lines and the breaks make things much easier and, and nice to see. So, once you have this saved, everything in this folder needs to be uploaded. So, what you do is actually upload the entire folder. So, you open up your Google Chrome browser and you go to your drive, drive.google.com. Okay. You should have a folder titled ECS for our computer class and it should be shared with me already okay if not go to share right click on it go to share and type in my email address to find me and share it with me all right now go back here and we're gonna drop this folder right inside here bam and you should get an upload status here it shouldn't take long to upload at all a few seconds at most and once it's all uploaded you want to make sure everything's there double click okay and then just make sure that it's shared with me and you're good to go put a link to this to this folder okay right click get link okay and put a link to this folder on your new blog post 